started duking his ass up. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. Eat him, man. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a race 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 race. yeah. Alright? Definitely. So I stir these spirits up and just going into it last week. Mm-hmm. Okay? Even though shit is all, you know, shit is all fabricated. Alright? But it has a purpose though. Alright? The simple don't see through. We see through it. Yeah, we see through their ploys, man. They're trying to get people roused up in the media concentrating on race. But they don't know they're doing the will of the Lord anyway. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's in the scriptures, man. Every prophecy is going to hit its mark. We done with that? Yeah. And that's a little more. So I'm going to it. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Yeah. And what's the wound? That's Job the 20th chapter. When he's about to fill his belly, he's going to get hit with the iron bolt. And the scripture says he's going to run into many straits, many difficulties when he try to set up his NWO, man. It's not going to go as smooth as he thinks, man. Okay? Because it's going to be people fighting back, people coming up against the government, these so-called Edomites. These Trump supporters already said they're not taking the vaccine. They're not taking the chip. They're rather, um, like they say, give me freedom or give me death, man. Right? And then, of course, you know, Jake, hard-headed Jake, they gonna buck up, right? So he's all gonna run into many difficulties. Yeah. And then he gonna come out to the men of the Lord, and that's just gonna be game over, yeah. man. All right? That's when the Most High, that's when the Heavenly Father's gonna intervene on his men's behalf. All right? His sons, man. Mm-hmm. That's a, that, this whole truth, this is a blessing, man. To be called a son of, matter of fact, you say that because I heard a guy coming on way here, some Jake. He's like, man, I'm a child of the Heavenly Father. He said, the, the Lord told the weak things of this world to confound the wise, man. See, and that's the spirit he said that, man. Because that's us, man. Yeah. He chose the weak things, man, to, to confound the wise. He didn't give the mysteries and the dark sayings and a breakdown of these parables to the to James White and the vocab Malone and um, you Jakes that go to theologian school. Because all you Christian ministers are looking at us, okay? Now you guys want to go into icons, all right? Now you guys are talking about the mark of the beast, all right? Now you guys are finally saying that a lot of people in the Bible are people of color, you know? They just figuring that out. They just come into that. Why? Because of all the interaction and the debates, all right, um, with the Israelites, man. Yeah. That's why there was videos and they saying, how do you counter the Israelites? What do you mean, how do you counter, man? You're supposed to be studying, man. Yeah. All right? The most I said is study to show thyself approved unto him. You got to show him that you're worthy, man. Yeah, that's right. Okay? And that's our people. They don't study, man. They don't study. They don't read. They don't research. Contrary to Esau, Esau does a diligent search. He's wiser than Daniel, man. Okay? He searches everything out, man. Right? I people want to party and bullshit, man. Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of you gonna die, man. Yes, man. Right? A lot. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Every prophecy gonna hit his mark. Matter of fact, Isaiah 55. Because okay, I was saying that. I don't want to lose that train of thought. Isaiah 55 in verse. Uh, which one? Which one? Oh, let me hear 11. Lepcon. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void. And that's what, that, matter of fact, over Gazette 34, 16, when you're done, that's what makes the Bible unique. So people, I told it's just a book. You don't know nothing, man. It's the book, man. All right? Because all the secret of the times is written in that little book there, man. That's right. All right? The Holy Scriptures, man. Mm-hmm. All right? From inception, uh, when we came on the scene and quote unquote mankind and the most high chose the people for himself and they went into the major empires of the world man how yeah. do you not say the bible is just a book went into the egyptians then went into the assyrians went into the babylonians the persians the greeks the mm-hmm. romans then it, it even touched a little bit on the byzantine empire man mm-hmm. all right then it goes to the Renaissance, man. Scripture says that the deadly wound was healed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to get that too. Uh. Because to understand, understand the mark of the beast, you have to understand who the beast is. Yeah, that's right. That's right. People don't understand who the beast is, man. Mm-hmm. And then Scripture goes into the chip, which we see happening. Mm-hmm. World War Three, how we came on this side of the world. Like, come on, you got to be kidding me, man. Yeah. Come on, man. So, this is the book, man. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna get Isaiah 34 and 16. If you're knowledgeable in the scriptures, you're automatically you're a so-called scholar or historian. 
because they always use the Bible as a reference point because the majority of the, um, a lot of the world's history is in there. Why? Because we were in captivity underneath all the nations, man. All the major nations, man. What are the history books that um that's neatly compiled like that? That goes to all those different empires until now. Mm -hmm. Give me the book, man. Mm -hmm. give, give us the book. But the uh, the uh, the Epic of Gilgamesh? No, that's in fragments, and they use the Bible to uh to help decode that book when you go into the history. But the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Uh, Jake's old my yacht in Egypt. Come on, man, stop it. Man. Word, con, con. All right. No other book is like this book. Nah, it's unique. This is con. This is a collection of books. Yeah. Man. It's why you think it's called the scriptures. It's a script. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All these other books. No, man. Nah, it falls right? short, man. It falls short. There's no prophecies in these other books, man. That, right. that comes to pass. Yeah, the Quran. Does the Quran go deep into them different histories and different prophecies? No. Right? They try to steal this and that from the scriptures. And a lot of shit they asked Muhammad, he kept saying, well, go to the people of the book. Uh, Should we go eat to the pork? Torah. Go, go to the people of the book and ask them. What do you mean go to the people of the book, man? You Ishmaelites, you got nothing to do with this, man. Uh, All right? Yeah? Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void. So whatever, whatever the Heavenly Father says, never misses his mark. That's right. The truth says he's not a man that he should lie. Mm -hmm. Right? He tell you something's going to happen, man. He tell you that in Psalms 138. Look like all that Psalms 138. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. See, man lie all the time, man. Heavenly Father, nope. So the Heavenly Father told you Babylon America is going to be destroyed. It's going to happen. We tell you Edomites, the rest of the nations, you're going into slavery. It's going to happen. Uh, most I say going to put two thirds of you to death. It's, it's going, going to, to happen. happen There's no reversing. Once the word go out, that's it. There ain't no coming back void. Con, like like when you said, um, if we disobeyed his commandments, we were going to slavery on slave ships. Con, you know, that happened. That that happened, man. You see what I'm saying? So what do you think he's going to do to you, um, you heathens out there, man? Yeah. And two thirds of his people that's wicked, rebellious. I'm going to remain in their wickedness. Yeah. Stiff neck. Stiff, Stiff neck. neck, man. Right? Y'all going to get it, man. Right, uh, Slakia, Psalms 138 and verse 2. I will worship thy, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Yeah, because his word, meaning he swears, when he swears on himself, that's it. Yeah, that means he swears on himself. Man. This is when he magnifies word above his name. So if he tell you something, it's gonna happen. You could put money on it, man. Uh, that's a sure investment right there. Invest in this truth, man. Let's see how Shai said, don't lay up yourself treasures on earth or moss rubbers. Lay your treasures in heaven because it's certain. Because real riches can't be stolen, man. That's what we laying up right now. Okay, our riches is guaranteed. All we got to do is endure. All right? How Shai said it best. It was in Luke 12, 32. You still want me to get Isaiah 34? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 16? Isaiah 34, 16. Con. That's the scripture right there. Isaiah 34, verse 16. Con. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Out of the book of the Lord, man. The Holy Bible. Not the Quran. That's garbage. Trash. Con. Okay, we only pull out certain points and it's a proof of point. That book is based off this book and it's a garbage book, man. Con. It's Con. tainted, man. Now, first of all, the Most High don't deal with Arabs, man. You, may have, you have Israelites amongst them. But you authentic Arabs and you Ishmaelites, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Okay, so the, when you go through the Quran, <laughs> all the all the prophets were, um, were Israelites, man, except for this camel jockey, man, who couldn't read or write, man. All right? He ain't dealing with the uh, Talmud. He ain't dealing with the Kabbalah, the Jewish Kabbal. All right? Those, those satanic books. He ain't dealing with the Egyptian Book of the Dead. He damn sure ain't dealing with the Vedas. Which is deal with Hinduism, which you guys are just totally insane. All right, you believe in gods with ten arms and this and that and all kind of crazy ass shit, man. Like I don't know who the hell, what's his name? Russell Simmons followed that. No, he followed Buddhism. Oh, man. Buddhism, which is not even a religion. It's that's more of a philosophy. All right, it's not. It's um, 
but Hinduism, I mean, I don't know what. They, they crazy, man. All right, go ahead. None of these shall fail. Meaning that what the prophecies, right? Every prophecy is going to hit its mark, man. All right, the Most High, like the scripture says, none of these shall fail. Go ahead. And that's what separates the Bible from every other book. Prophecy. Yes, it's a history book. Yes, it's a book of commandments. But what separates it is prophecy. Man. Okay? Uh, even people, um, even these Edomites know the mark of the beast is the, uh, the prophecy. Every How do people know it's the mark of the beast? Where that term even come from? The scriptures, man. So when you see the microchip coming, you be like, hold on. The Bible says something about you can't buy or sell unless you put the chip in your, your hand. Nah, man, I can't take that. And he wrote that over 2,000 years ago, man. That's power right there, man. Right. All right? It's not a prophecy that was written 10 years ago. 2,000 years ago, man. Yeah. Let that sink in, man. Yeah. There were no computer chips in people's brain. Um, that, didn't even, that thought didn't even come up yet. All right? Until the 1900s, man. All right? Machines, period, man. That, they, that was in a man's thoughts 2,000 years ago, man. Airplanes flying. That was in a man's thoughts. Missiles coming to the ends of the earth. That was nowhere near. That wasn't even in a man's thoughts back then. Man. So how, how did the prophets know about it and was able to write it down? Because of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Khan, Khan. All right, go ahead. None shall want her mate. Yeah, so you can't mate like we just went through those different uh, crazy books, all right? can't made it with the scriptures or oh, the book of mormon <laughs> oh, right you can't make that garbage with the bible man but the book of mormon tells you that dark skin is a curse the book of mormon tells you that utah is the holy land are those crackpots over there man that's spirit those, when I, those shroom heads over there man that's spirit when i first came to the truth i had a book of mormon in my house and as soon as i learned about the truth i, I literally kicked it out of my house like, literally, you know, you know, who, you know who cut their ass to who? Charles Adakia. Uh, he, he said he what? There was a video of him years ago cutting the Mormon's ass. Mm. See? Because the religion is, is nonsense, man. And that's a damn cult, man. Alright? Yeah. Following some crazy ass, talking about Joseph Smith. And uh, him stealing those Gadite stories. That's how he knew that they were um, of the Ten Lost Tribes. He came up with some other crazy shit. And all of, all of them guys were Masons, man. Mm. All right? People of Jehovah Witness, the Mormons, all of them, all them guys that started were Masons, man. All right? So like we strain with the scriptures, none shall want her mate. So you can't mate the Bible with any other book. Can't. You just can't. All right? The word of the Heavenly Father stands alone, man. Can't. All right. That's right. Well, is it more than that? A little more, yeah. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Yeah, his spirit, man. His spirit is in the book, man. That's what Yahweh Shai talked about, the comforter, man. All right? The comforter is what? The Holy Spirit, man. All right? Which is also known as the word that we have in our hand. That comforts you, man. That what teaches you all things. Not no man, okay? Right, and when that guy is supposed to be, he's, no, he's not supposed to be, he is dead. COVID, they say COVID-19 took him out. The co God sent comfort of him. Mm. That's judgment. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. So, like we were going into, you know, we going into different scriptures. and uh, Like the scripture says, none shall want her mate. You know, the, the Holy Scripture stand alone. Man. That's right. Con, right? You can't make it with another book. The whole side is giving us the ability to actually see what's in the book. Yeah. It's not enough just reading. You have to understand. Yeah. Matter of fact, get that Matthew 24 15. Matthew chapter 24, verse 15. One thing happens sometimes, like you have a sword that you, that you can't use. That's 99% of people on the planet Earth. They have the Bible in their possession. They, they don't know how to use it, though. Man. Yeah. All right? It's sealed to them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them, a lot of them is puffed up in pride, and they proud, so they, they don't want to get taught. 
You know what I'm saying? They don't want to get taught. They don't got. They don't want to get retaught. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to be born again. That's right. All right. That's right. That's, that's being proud. Mm -hmm. Like the Lord told Nicodemus. So that's a profound statement. Nicodemus was a doctor of the law. Yeah. Yahweh Shah told him he had to be born again, man. I mean, you got to listen to what I'm telling you, man. The Father set me up, man. All right. When I tell you the words that I'm speaking unto you is going to lead you to everlasting life. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 24 verse 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So like you said, our people, and a lot of these people, not even people, these Edomites, these heathens, they have the Bible. Mm -hmm. And you tell them, break it down. They can't, they t tells you in Isaiah the sixth chapter, he said, I can't because it's sealed unto me. Yeah. The book is sealed, man. It wasn't given to them, man. Yeah. It's given to us. All right? And Brock Dai Yahab Hashem for that. It's come, not that come. we did. That uh, the Most High said, yeah, I like them brothers. He just chose us, man. Right. You know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't, you know, nothing to brag about. The Lord just chose your spirit, man. Yeah. He declared the end from the beginning. So from the beginning of time, I'm going to make him an Israelite. Make these people spirits Israelites. And I'm going to make these spirits the elect. Mm -hmm. See? That's what say the, um, the, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the, the prophets, prophets, man. Saying so, you're gonna come back in your life, yeah. You know, if he's a prophet back in the ancient world, you're gonna come back and do the same thing, yeah. You know, be a prophet, yeah. Right? It's all it's all preordained, there's no right. free will. We didn't just say jump up and say, Hey, I want to go out there and prophesy. The Heavenly Father, God is doing this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Same from the elders and apostles on down, right? Yeah, yep. that's, that's a beautiful thing, that's a blessing in itself to even know his name, come out here and teach, get the mysteries of the kingdom, right? Because a lot of these people out here they don't understand it, man. They don't understand Adam and Eve. They don't understand Genesis. They don't understand Daniel. They don't understand Revelation. They don't understand none of that. They can't break it down. No. Right? They don't understand the dark sayings, the similar tools, the parables. They don't understand none of that. No. The Heavenly Father bless a select few, you know, mm -hmm. the elect to understand that and, and teach it in these last days. Right? So they have no excuse, man, because they, they could get taught, you know? But they want to be pr pr prideful and be like, oh, nah, I'm not with that, you know, my sweet Jesus. Right, I'm gonna stay in the in this book of Quran. I don't want to deal with that. Well, you don't get put to death, man. It's either Yahweh Shah or death. Choose. You see what I'm saying? Yep. It's either Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah or death, man. He's offering you in, in, immortality, everlasting life, man. All right, you Israelites out there. All right, so heathen nations, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, they're gonna get put to death for slavery. All right, but you know, Israelites out there, everlasting life, immortality, or death. Scripture say, all oh, that hate me, love death, man. So if you're not trying to get down, um. Scripture say, my sheep hear my voice and they follow. Right? So we're, we're his sheep, man. So if you are part of his sheep, his elect, you're going to follow. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Maybe. So it's all predestinated. You know, it's yeah. all ordained. Yep. Right? When you hear the word, something in you just clicks. Yeah, yeah. Your spirit well, resonates with it. Mm -hmm. Like you told Peter, get up and he told the disciples, get up and follow me. And they just yeah. get up and follow it. Yeah. Same thing when brothers brought the word out, you heard it, something in you just clicked. Yeah. And you, you, you just started following, man. Yeah. Like we said, this is a free, supreme gift. Let me get First Peter chapter one verse eleven. Con. First Peter chapter one verse eleven, and it reads, "Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Hamashiach, which was in them, did signify, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Hamashiach and the glory that should follow." Yeah, the glory, man. Mm -hmm. Glory, man. It's all about that glory. Mm -hmm. All right. That praise, that honor, man. Okay. From the Father, man. And the Son, man. You got it? Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by is, them. Is it reported unto us, man? Also known as the church of the firstborn. Come on, come on. All right, get it? Uh, which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Yeah, because the angels would like to do what we're doing, but they can't. Man. See, they don't know how it is to to um to battle demons in the flesh, mm -hmm. to suffer or to go through pain. Yahweh Shai did, because Yahweh Shai came in the flesh, and he overcame the flesh. 
And through his sacrifice, the Most High gave us this gift, man. Through him. See? So, you got something that the angels desire to do, man. So, that's a precious gift, man. That's not no ordinary thing, man. Okay? And it shows and proves that while you're here on the planet Earth, this is the goal, man. The top goal is not to make it in Babylon. All right? Or to be a... Uh, to be the next Jay-Z or Kanye or LeBron. That's not the goal, man. The goal of why you here on this earth is to praise you how about Shimmy Aushad, man. Like Tobit said. Matter of fact, let's get that. Tobit 13. That's a top, top goal, man. So being a prophet is the top gift. Okay? Top gift. That's a top office. We just did not we just read it. The angels desire to look into those things. Right? You think if uh, Michael or Raphael or Gabriel is in the flesh, what you think they'll be doing? What we doing, man? Yeah, All right? Yeah. Praising Yahweh by Shimei al man. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Tobit, chapter 13, and verse... They say verse 1, let me hear. It might be in verse 6, but let me hear one. Come on, come on. Verse 1. Then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, Blessed be the Most High that liveth forever and blessed be his kingdom mm -hmm. but he do of scourge and have mercy yeah he scourged us meaning that he, he allowed our enemies to put us in captivity that's right because we wasn't supposed to serve nobody man all right it was our we were set up to rule this earth that's right and righteousness man. Oh, be a light to the here. gentiles yeah right. but when we went off the, the heathens ruling over us now man yeah. that's what ezra's is asking like he said didn't didn't you say the world was created for our sake so why are these heathens ruling over us, man? I was gonna walk here from Pennsylvania. Alright, go ahead. For he do like, scourge like and have mercy. Like he lead him. And what's the mercy? We have it in our hand. That's right. The understanding of the book. That's yeah. this mercy. Alright? Having his name, which God's making fun of, that's mercy, man. Let's ask people around the park what's God's name. Ain't nobody were able to tell us. Man. They don't say God. They don't say God. Or, you know, I don't. I don't know. Like that. Um, like that Christian that came that day. Yeah, he you said Jesus. We kept pressing him. Yeah. We brought the scripture out. What is his name? What is the son's name? What's the father's name, man? And he could not answer it, man. Mister diligent Christian. All right. Don't know the father's name, man. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. Huh. All right. That you shows. should be ashamed. Your pastor should be ashamed. Gone. Because that shows that they're not studying, man. Yeah. They're not getting. They're not going to the to the paleo, the ancient Hebrew. They're not yeah. going to that, man. Oh, it's Jesus. Gee, that's not his, his name, man. What's, what were you going? Like, he tells you the letter J was not in the English alphabet until like the 15, 1600. They derived from the letter I, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And first, first and foremost, the Lord did not speak the English tongue, man. Con, con. So that's just wipes that out, man. Mm -hmm. when you go into the 1611, the, the word is Jesus. It's not even Jesus, man. So the Lord was a Hebrew. He spoke Hebrew. What is his name? Okay. You can't say that don't matter because the Most High said he would turn to the people of pure language. Mm -hmm. Everything matters with Jehovah Bashim El Shah, man. Con. When you go into the law, the Heavenly Father is meticulous, man. Go into the law, man. Go into what the priesthood had to do. Before they give certain sacrifices, man. How the incense and the altar and everything had to be prepared. They had to be physically clean. Yeah. All right? They had to um, get the spices ready, man. All right? They had to have the um, the anointing oil. All of that had to be ready, man. And different families had different offices, man. The sons of Koaf, the sons of Aaron, had the highest office, man. Okay? And, and only the high priest could go into the, the second veil to do the uh, day of atonement remember what during the time of david um something fell from the uh, ark of the covenant uh, yes. and remember we somebody went to just to get it reach it and he touched it and immediately he no nah, no nah, we got to get that scripture yeah, get that. to show you how meticulous the most high is yeah, man yeah, yeah. What, what piece have you got um tobit uh oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 finish that out yeah 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 but he do scourge and have mercy he leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. The grave, all yeah. right? They talking about no place in the um, underground where the demons are dwelling. Okay, that's Jewish fables. Come on, man. And bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel. Oh, that's the point. Read it again. Confess him before the Gentiles, 
the children of Israel. So that's the point where you're here on this earth, man. Uh -huh. But you have scattered us among them. Yeah, so you're supposed to praise him before the Gentiles, before the other nations, before the two thirds, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Before, um, let's see if I get this. Read that precept one more time. Come on. Tobit 13 and 3 Confess him before the Gentiles Ye children of Israel mm -hmm. But he have scattered us among them So you're supposed to confess him before the How you confess him without his name Alright Go ahead That's right Verse 4 They declare his greatness And extol him before all the living So you said that's the point when you're on this earth man You're supposed to extol him or praise him Alright praise his name Glorify him Alright go ahead for he is our Lord. Ooh, that's a cut. Mm -hmm. I didn't say everybody. That's right. He said he is our Lord, the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And he is the power, our Father, forever. He is the power, our Father, man. Forever, man. Right? Mm -hmm. Possessive, man. Our, man. Not everybody, man. Right? So, that's a cut, man. That's a cut. And like we were saying, um... Show you how meticulous the Most High is. Get get uh, Second Samuel chapter two. No, chapter six. Oh, how is um how is Ab? Did you guys end up going? Yeah, let me hear 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 1. Okay, come. 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 1. Again, David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. And David arose and went with all the people that were with him from Baali of Judah to bring up from thence the ark of the Mosiah. Yeah, because uh, when you go going through the time of Saul, they took up the, um, the, uh, the ark of the covenant, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, let me hold on. Let me see if there's an article I may get get after this. There's not that much in the um, news today. Read on. Read, read six and one. No, I can't find the article. Oh well. Second Samuel chapter six and verse one. Again, David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, thirty thousand. And David arose and went with all the people that were with him from Baali of Judah to bring up from thence the ark of the Most High, whose name is called by the name of the Lord of Hosts that dwelleth between the cherubims. Yeah, the cherubims. Yeah, you can read that. His presence came between the two cherubims and the two angels. Gone on top of the ark, mm -hmm. all right. And only the only the high priest could um go in the second veil and do all that, man. And when you go into the history, Israel lost the ark of the covenant, right? I think that's like in the first Samuel. So go into that history, man. Israel lost the um the ark of the covenant, man. The Philistines took it, so King David retrieved it, all right. And he's praising Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, the ark is coming back into Jerusalem. Go ahead, read on. Con. And they set the ark of the Most High upon a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab that was in Gabeah and Uzzah and Ahio. The sons of Abinadab drave the new cart and they brought it out of the house of Abinadab which was in Gabeah. Accompanying the Ark of the Most High. Yeah, so I don't know the scripture. I don't know if they were Levites, but they were carrying the, the um, Ark of the Covenant out. Read on. And Ahio went before the Ark, and David and all the house of Israel played before the Lord on all manner of instruments made of 
Yeah, second, made of fir wood. Because that was a great victory. Got the Ark of the Covenant back, man. Mm -hmm. The Holy of Holies, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? The Prince of the Most High came down um, on the Ark of the Covenant, man. Okay? Which now, nobody knows where it is. It tells you that in the second Maccabees. Yeah. All right? So we have Yahweh Shai. We fulfilled a uh, better priesthood. We were ordered Melchizedek. Con, con. All right? Go ahead. And David and all the house of Israel played before the Lord on all the all men of instruments made of fear wood, even on harps and on um, psalteries and on timbrels and on cornets and on cymbals. And when they came to Natron's threshing floor, Yusa put forth his hand to the ark of the Mosah and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Yusa, and the Mosah smote him there for his error. And he, there he died by the Ark of the Mosai. He died right there on the spot. Mm -hmm. and he just tried to, like, because he thought it would fall. And he ended up touching the item that he wasn't supposed to. And Lord mm -hmm. killed. I'll show you how meticulous the Most High was, man. That's right. Let's keep reading. Con. Uh, verse, and verse 8. And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah. Yes, and even David was scared, man. David was like, damn. He died for that? I'll show you how meticulous the Most High is, man. Con. Okay, go ahead. And he called the name of the place Perez Yuza to this day. And David was afraid of Yahweh by Shemiah shot so that game. So when everybody game. heard that how the Most High killed a dude just for that? For touching something out of the, that came out of the Ark of the Covenant? Even David was scared. Like, David was shook. Like, damn, man. But that just shows you the nature of the Heavenly Father, man. All right? Because why, when you go back to the law... Only the high priests could even deal with those things, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Deal with those items and do the sacrifices and go through the second veil, man. All right? Of the sons of Koat, man. All right? Only he was a... You had you had Aaron's sons who tried to give up a corrupt sacrifice. Most I put their ass to death too, man. Okay? You see? So that's what the scripture says was in John 4, 24. And it was so devastating that even King David was displeased. Like, he didn't even totally agree with that. He was like, damn. You see? Right, it just shows you the nature of the Heavenly Father. The Most High is a perfectionist, man. Con. All right? He's nothing to play around with, man. Right now, he's showing some extreme mercy mm -hmm. on brothers right now. Con, that's right. Because he could do that to any one of us, man. Just drop you right there, man. All right? But the scripture says he held his peace. And right now... He's looking at us through Yahweh Shai. That's where the grace comes in. That's where grace comes in. You see? That's that ultimate grace, man. All right? Go ahead. You quote um, John 7 and 24? No, 424. Slide here. 424. John chapter 4 and verse 24. And it reads, The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and and in truth so you can't worship the heavenly father any other way but we just read about uh yuza who touched the ark of the covenant that he wasn't supposed to the lord killed him man yeah right because it went against the law so same thing now man You're serving yahweh now shy you have to do it according to what the book says man yeah because if you don't that's a corrupt sacrifice man con, con. all right and the most high don't deal with corrupt sacrifices you know that when you go into Cain and Abel. Mm -hmm. Most acts for blood, this dude going to give him fruit. Mm -hmm. God is like, what am I going to do with that, man? You're rejected, man. Your sacrifice is rejected. I don't want that, man. Instead of just correcting it, he killed his brother, man. Yeah. Satan, man. He's a demon, man. And then not he killed his brother, he lied on top of it. Yeah. So am I my brother's keeper? I don't know where he's at. <laughs> yeah. That's a devil right there. That's a devil right there. And the Lord said, oh, really? Okay. Well, I'm going to curse you with leprosy now. Mm -hmm. So everybody saw him. They knew he was cursed, man. Are you looking at him right now? He's yeah. Edomites, man. Yeah. That's your forefather Cain. All right? See? That's like how about you now, Shah? Huh? Like, that's what I'm saying. Esau was automatically born with that um, that curse. Man. Yeah. That mark of leprosy, man. He's born red and hairy all over, man. Right. Yeah, beware of the beast man. That's right. <laughs> That's right. For he is the devil's pawn, man. Mm -hmm. 
It said alone amongst God's primates, he kills for sport, lust, and greed. Yeah. It said he murdered his brother, take his brother's land, shun him, drive him back into his jungle lair, for he is the harbinger of death. And he did steal his brother's land. He took Gad land, man. Yeah. He took it, man. Right? He's the harbinger of death. Then had the nerve to call people immigrants. Yeah, immigrants and creating a wall. Right? And all this other nonsense, man. And he stole this land, man. He stole everything. Everything he got, he stole, man. But with the sword, that's his blessing, though. The sword, yeah. man. Yeah. He stole everything, man. Right, he's a serpent. He's a subtile serpent, a beast. He would say, he would, he would be like, peace. You know what I'm saying? He, he would, um, his word was smoother than butter but, butter, but war was in his heart. You know, he came to Gad, you know, saying, you know, teach me how to act right, culture, do this, that, and the third. And then you know he came back with a whole bunch of colors came back with a whole bunch of um you know guns and everything like that and just started slaughtering man. Yeah, when they learned agriculture, they couldn't even do basic plant. Yeah. They know nothing about anything. They know how to wash their nasty ass, man. Fine. They had body coats of hair on it, man, and brought rats and diseases. That's right. And to this day they still don't I heard that they still don't use washcloths, man. <laughs> <laughs> to this day they, they just take soap. You know what I'm saying? That's what that, that, that caveman, yo. That's that caveman, man. Yo, Esau, man. Right? Hey, Esau's that beast, kid. Gone. You know what I'm saying? No way, he gonna go back to that in the world to come, too, man. That's right. He was living in pits. Pits, man. Bottom of the bottom, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Esau, dirty, man. Yeah. Well, you going to Gad cleaned up Esau a lot, man. Yeah. yeah. Gad cleaned him up a lot, man. Right, and how did how did they repay them? They gave him smallpox, <laughs> killed him, broke all the treaties, and then put them on reservation. Right? See, that scripture says, "Never trust thine enemy, man." For like as I and rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. That's right. Right? You're supposed to know him, man. You're supposed to know the nature of a serpent. All right? That's scripture tell you who's gonna uh, pity a charmer. To get bit by a serpent. You ain't gonna pity him. You have no business playing with snakes in the beginning, man. Alright? So, you have no business trying to befriend them, man. Mm -hmm. Alright? Now, we're not here for that, man. We we are subject to them. We do our little job, and then we move on, man. Okay. We ain't coming together, breaking bread, mm -hmm. trying to be cool. Mm -hmm. We don't even do that amongst two-thirds.